Warm welcome. We will tackle a new class of problems. Namely, we will build our own calculator for a diesel engine because this is a quite extensive topic and it will take us a while. I won't be able to do this in one such talk and uh, I also don't want them to be too long. So this is why I will divide this into uh, several parts and it will be four or five and we should do this all. I will try to record them uh, one after another. So for um, you have an available course about diesel engines, it is quite long. It is a five and a half hours course that spans from zero to the stage one. Yes. However, in that solution, in that course, uh, I actually use a calculator because um, how else to correctly calculate the affair? However, I made a certain simplifications in the logic, which allows us to easily calculate the AFR. But on the other hand, we encounter some problems when we would like to build something very strong, like so strong, like a heavy level or replace the turbocharger and so on. There's no further. So um, further tuning. So it will turn out that it will be not enough. And this is why we are starting to build something completely serious. Uh, there are quite few other calculators in the internet. However, I would like to show you the logic behind it because uh, you can download two different calculators and see both show two different results, even they are similar. But that means someone uh, has right and someone not so perfect. Uh, maybe it's better just to do it uh, by yourself. For those who won't like to um, taking it um, and doing this step by step, the final result be available to be to be downloaded. However, it is like I said, the one we learned, uh, you can use uh, it. Of course, I would be very pleased. Uh, this is the academy website, ThomasTeachesTuning.com, and the link is below in the comments. If you decide to use this course, it will be also very beneficial for you and, and me because uh, it will be easier to build something more advanced over that, not just simplified ones that do not require an Excel. It will be easier for sure. So, however, there is an issue that needs to be um, shown, which is a shortcoming for the first course. Mm. This course includes the basics related to the physics of diesel engine operation. It includes the basic related to the technology of its operation. The method of acquiring the knowledge needed for us, for any car with any diesel engine, uh, how our controllers and can be analyzed. Uh, we need to say that uh, there are some limitations. So for now, a few words about the limitation of the first course. This five and a half hour. That solution is based on a precise percentage calculation of AFR, meaning the, we assume that AFR will be con at the constant regime of some value, let be 17 or 2 1 or 18 to 1 and so on. Such a solution is flat in that, that it could, for smaller loads, not for maximum ones, uh, it could work uh, properly with not a perfect calculation of AFR. For the smaller loads, uh, we can theoretically use the alternative um, bigger fuel doses, and at this moment, our mixture composition could be further optimized. That's the first thing, um, the first disadvantage. Uh, we, should, we should aim at that. Um, for example, um, the second thing, the solution involves modifying several characteristics. Mm, which are essentially um, the calibration characteristics uh, of the car, such uh, as uh, converting torque to injection quantity, quantity, a small change, but still an adjustment of the injection timing, then the injection timing map uh, uh, is, is changed, and not only a simple extension of the map, but rather their recalibration for them both. So at this point, the drawback, uh, there is that the data we would diagnose, diagnose will be different we, however, we control air to fuel ratio at every moment perfectly. So this is a trade-off as there are no free lunches, something for something. We have to bear with that. Either easier calculations at the beginning, but certain consequences later, not affecting the car performance, of course, but making the diagnostics more difficult for us. For example, uh, on the other way, uh, this is, will be, um, uh, this will be the point why to build a calculator. 
because then we can just control it at exactly every point. Of course, the problem is that we have a different sizes of maps and we should just prepare calculators which are adopted for various ECU types, ECU readouts. This is just uh, crucial and only at the beginning, then we will rescale. It's also very important to very precisely calculate V and T because, because it is a trouble the, the um, tuners have. They forget about this. And correct setting of V and T, uh, variable geometry of the turbocharger, is totally critically important. This topic is very often overlooked. And we will add this into our calculator because or even I will do a separate short lecture about this because it's really important to correctly cover the AFR in a whole area of the map. So, of course, the turbocharger won't be damaged immediately, maybe after setting this VNT incorrectly, after not only, not at, uh, at the beginning, not uh, uh, immediately, but after some time, it will, it will detonate the turbocharger or it will break the bearing. Okay, so let's go, let's go back. Mm. We don't want our customers to suffer from our mistakes, so it's better to use uh, calculators which are step by step prepared at the beginning, and then be sure that there are no mistakes. So this course, the basic course, is a wonderful foundation. It is just something perfect when you just did it, but if you feel powerful enough to start just from that calculator and from building it, and you avoid the pitfalls already, you avoid the pitfalls of improper calculation for the stage one, then uh, you can start to work with me at this calculator and you will see how it is built, how we will calculate, how we'll get the information about the proper boost level, proper VNT level, VNT values, yeah, percentage of VNT uh, setup, and finally, how to control the fuel versus boost to maintain the perfect AFR for every kind of load and uh, engine engine speed. So feel warmly invited. I will just start to pre-record um, parts of this this uh, short courses, and and I will also publish them as a one uh, one big combined course. I will just simply number them from one, which is this, uh, till probably four, five, maybe. Uh, we will see that. Yeah, this this will be somehow dynamic uh, lesson, lessons, uh, not longer than twenty minutes. So I will try to try to see what can I cover within twenty minutes, and then what can I cover within next twenty minutes. So you are welcome, and see you. Bye bye.